Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <sighs> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. give you a sedative don't fight it I... you went through another rough period what right now it's very important that you stay calm we don't want you to have another episode you're a patient at my clinic have been for a while now the shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness no you're you lie you're suffering from various Bastard. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let go. go. <gasps> I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. Again! I'm Burning Dog Face, and I need to insert a jump cut just here. There we go. It's actually two days later. I had to film that first bit at the end of the previous session. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. At least it's not blurry around the edges anymore. Sedatives, man. They are not fun. Huh. Poster for his own book. That just feels in poor taste. What's in Emerson's room? Night Springs, the video game. By Remedy Entertainment! <laughs> yeah, that's nice. I like that. Oh, there's a copy of it just here. You know, I distinctly remember... I was wondering how this would play out, because I distinctly remember in the original version... That uh, game console there was distinctly an Xbox 360, and the game cartridge was in a green case, just like 360 games came in. You know, because this was a, an exclusive back in the day. Oh. I haven't seen one of these since I was in control. That came out wrong. That's definitely a diagram of someone fighting the take-in in the corner. What the fuck? Oh, and uh, Death Rally here is a real video game from the 90s. It's Remedy's first title, a top-down uh, combat racing game. Where you had, like, machine guns and missile launchers and mine droppers on your car. And you could pick a whole bunch of different uh, drivers, but really the only difference it made was... Uh, you know, which face is attached to your character. With the singular exception of, we, uh, for whatever reason, special guest character Duke Nukem, who, uh, they included a bunch of voice clips from Duke Nukem 3D that played out at random as you were driving around and uh, fighting people. I wonder if that's a real board game. 
Let's leave Mr. Emerson's room alone. What, what is that? I wouldn't want someone poking around through my shit, so I'm just gonna look and then go. Lucky Lime. Well, it's some kind of cami candy. Yummies? Hmm. Oh. Oh, I thought you went that way. Okay, fair enough. So they were just watching me. is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. To I Solon encourage Lane, huh? creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Oh, I kind of thought I would only be able to walk into this that way, one. Alan. I just want to poke around the other patients' rooms first without actually going through their stuff. Oh yeah, artist. Oh, maybe Emerson makes video games, huh? See, now we're talking. This guy is smart. <laughs> Anderson. Ah, yes, I was wondering if that was going to be a double or if there were two rooms for them. Is that a Viking shield? Yes, it is. It's two Viking shields in the wall. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. No! Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I, I want to go this way. Another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Oh boy. I hate that. I hate that so much. Hey man, Barry believes it too. Unless Barry isn't really in this it's state. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Oh, is that so? Let's go Carl Stuckey a call. Fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. I mean, they picked the right place for a mental health clinic. This is fucking beautiful, but... I don't like this. Although this is much, much worse the first time because, uh... I didn't know what to believe. Well, what if I want to go up here? Yeah, I don't love this. That's a really big sundial. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated, TZ, in the memory of a dear friend and a poet. Wait, in Tenebris? That means something... Uh, tenebris means darkness. Cauldron... Oh, Cauldron Lake Lodge. Uh, 1912? Huh, I guess I figured you founded it. Maybe it's 1972. In Tenebris Cadere. Just a moment. 
Okay. I don't love this. I see here that in tenebris cadere means to fall into darkness. Mmm, no, unsubscribe from that. I was also had a thing pointed out to me just there. Which was, uh, oh, Dr. Hartman is giving Wade a tour of his clinic and explaining that Alice's death has driven Wake into a dark inner world of delusions and fantasies. Uh, five, four, three, two, one, twelve, eleven, ten, nine. Yeah! Seven o'clock and eight o'clock are missing from this clock. Huh. That's really weird. Six, five, four, three, two, one. 12, 11, 10, 9. Someone steal the numbers, Doc? I don't like you enough to call you Doc. That's a term of endearment. Ah, I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Begrudgingly Golden so. The lake spread below us. I could see Mirror Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. Wait a minute. How did I get a head injury if I didn't really drive off... Well, actually, we still don't know how I got that head injury. We just, he just woke up in the car. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. It's that, very hmm. natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, I dug my nails into the palms myself. of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, I like that. we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Just, you know, I think the real problem is you're trying to convince me that my wife is dead, and, uh... That's never going to be an acceptable outcome. Not even if she is! I don't like the fact that they seem to lock every Let's door in this place, but I don't know how, you know, unstable their, uh... patients are. Okay, let's talk to the couch man. Now here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. That's a wall. You were impressed by oh. my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> <laughs> Emerson. <laughs> Even the doctor calls him by his last I'm name. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video games. Ooh, yeah. It's ah. trash, of yeah. course, yeah. but it does I'll involve some small yeah. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. Oh, no. No kidding. <laughs> oh, boy. Love it here. Oops. I think I broke something. Hey, this door is open. Maybe I can just flee. 
Oh, there's a dude here. Hmm. Oh, hello. I've painted you. Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? That's He's very hmm. proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Well, that's the most important part. You're never going to get well, better if you don't believe it. I guess it. I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. Oh, that doesn't look like a normal storm. That does not. That looks like what happens when the, uh... When the dark stirs at night. Oop. I missed the door. Well done, me. I do like your painting, for the record. It's very moody. What's that squeaking noise? In it? Oh, hey! A collectible! At least those are real. Well, that feels important. How goes? Okay, she does not get paid enough to converse. Another ad for his own book. I saw a B prompt there. Well, I guess I imagined a B prompt there. What is that? Oop, backing up. The Within Side by... By Vox Maxwell? First name definitely begins with a V, which is odd. I don't like how dim it is in here, frankly. But clearly, that's because I'm crazy. Oh, I did it again. My bad. At least it's the same door. The other one is still fine. That's weirdly arty. Or, you know, a texture error. Oh. Uh. Oh. Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. Welcome... Oh, it actually says welcome to THE Cauldron Lake Lodge on there. Uh... We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure that they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patient's need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by their creative processes. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems, and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specially tailored for you. Engagement therapy and its sister method, the flow, work best and you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. Oh boy. Honestly, this place doesn't seem so bad except for Hartman himself, who I do not trust as far as I can throw. Is that the infamous product placement TV? I don't think it'll be doing that this time around, but I do remember that. My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm! Night springs the board I game. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a, how should I put this, a heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. That's right. These are the guys who sang Take Control back in the 80s. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? 
I wonder if that was real. How come we both have bad his head in with a hammer? No, oh, he loved to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla. We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Huh. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash. But I kept it safe from these bastards. Ew. My head. Oh. I was clearing up. Or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? Not today. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. That's true. <laughs> Tom just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was, what were they? Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. She's been using you, boy. And you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, uh, fr... Well. So tired. Built the farm close to the lake. A place of power. We had parties there, man. You, you should go there and have a party. That Bob Balder threw the app through the window. Hit that a hippie chick in the back of the head. Fifteen stitches of a concussion. Bob's dead, though. Leukemia. I'm sorry. Stitches, snitches, and narcs, man. Pfft, bad scene. Ain't a lot to say. I'm tired, man. So tired. I... Oh, man. I, uh... I want to go home. That's probably it, right? All right. Thomas Zane's writing an assistant. Actually, let me check real quick. Ah, damn, I did miss at least one page that wasn't hidden in uh, the difficulty. Ah, but only one, so that's nice. Thomas Zane's writing and assistant. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. 
He too went away with words. And that answers so many goddamn questions right there on its own. But, uh... I'm gonna call it right here. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I will see you... on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake again continue looking around Cauldron Lake Lodge and try to figure out the nature of our reality. Stay in the light.